What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today we're going to be subtracting using expanded form up to three digits with no regrouping. But first, let's take a look at who is sponsoring our lesson today. Our lesson today is sponsored by Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing. If you love bass fishing and you love to kayak, check out Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing. They are a large tournament series based out of Charlotte, North Carolina that paid out over $60,000 last year. For more information, check out their website and follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you, Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing, for sponsoring this Instruct Beats lesson. Our objective today, today I will be able to subtract three digit numbers without regrouping by using expanded form. First, we're going to start with our menu end, which is just a fancy way of saying the number that you are starting with uh, in a subtraction equation. And so we've set this up with our base 10 uh, blocks. So here we have our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. We have our two hundreds, the two in the hundreds place. Our three in the tens place tells us we need three tens, and then our four in the ones place tells us that we need four ones. Now, obviously, when you're subtracting, right, we are taking away. Now, you can compare a subtraction, but really, again, at the core of subtraction is we are taking away. So, we always like to start with our ones place and go right to left. So, if I have four ones and I am taking away three ones, right, because in my subtrahend, I have a three in the ones place. So I want to take away three from the ones place, like magic they're gone, and in my ones place I have one left. Now in my tens place, I'm trying to take away a two, right? So I want to take away two tens, which leaves me with one ten. And then in my hundreds place, I'm trying to take away one of my hundreds, right? That's why I'm, I'm subtracting a one from the hundreds place. And when you are done, you see that you have 100, 110, and one one left. So your answer is, 111, right? A one in your hundreds place, a one in your tens place, and a one in your ones place. That's what's happening when we are subtracting with base 10 blocks. Let's take a look at how this compares to expanded form. All right, so if I am going to subtract the expanded form, the first thing I wanna do is I want to uh, chop up this number, 234, and write it with expanded form. So my two in the hundreds place was worth 200, right? That's why I had two hundreds over here in my base 10 block. So I'm gonna say, 200 minus my three was worth 30, right? Because I had three tens. Oh, sorry, this should be a plus, sorry. Plus, and then plus my four in the ones place. So here I have 200 plus 30 plus four. And if you notice, you don't have to do this when you do this, but I kind of want to show you, we're making our hundreds, tens, and our ones charts right here, right? We, except instead of doing a base 10 blocks, we're writing it out with digits. Now you want to subtract 123. So we want to take away 100 plus 20 plus three. Again, I'm just writing this number out with showing the value of each number. Now that's what's a little bit different when you're doing your base 10 blocks, you just take away the values of three ones and uh, 20 and 100, but we actually have to show that when we do expanded form. So now I'm subtracting. 4 minus 3 would be 1. That's my 1's place. So I put my plus here to separate my 10's and my 1's place. And then if I have 30 and I take away 20, right, that leaves me with just 1 10 left over. Um, and if you don't know how to do the 30 minus 20, 0 minus 0 is 0. And then your 3 10's minus 2 10's would be 1 10. That's why your 10 is in the 1's place. And then same thing here. If you have 200, you take away 100, you are left with 100. So you can see right here, this matches perfectly my base 10 blocks. The only difference is I'm not showing it with the base 10 blocks, I'm showing it with the values of numbers. So just like I did over here, I have to combine those back. That's what the plus signs are for. So if I do that, I have a one in the hundreds place, a one in the tens place, and a one in the ones place. And the difference between 234 and 123 is 111. So very similar to what you do in the base 10 blocks, except now we're just writing it with actual numbers. 
All right, so now we want to name the steps that I just did for expand form, right? We want to have these down in your notes, which you can find in the description of this video. You can uh, make a copy of them, print them out, or just take them online. Um, so the first thing we did when we were subtracting using expanded form is we're going to write both numbers in expanded form and line the place values up vertically, just like we did with our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. When we did the expanded form, we made sure that our hundreds places were lined up, our tens places were lined up, and the digits from the ones places were lined up. Step number two, we're going to start with the ones place and subtract each digit going from right to left. So we start with the ones place, and then we go to the tens place, and then the hundreds place. Step number three, we put the answer back together. So the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. So we're going to take that difference, just like we did when we had 100 plus 10 plus 1, and we put it back together into uh, standard form or numerical form, and we write the answer as 111. So let's take these steps now and let's apply them to a we do problem. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to uh, break apart our numbers, <laughs> write them in expanded form, chop them up if you will, um, and then line them up. So we have 700 plus 60, plus nine, okay, just like we did before, we got our hundreds, our tens, and our ones split apart. And then we're gonna subtract from that 400 plus 20 plus six, okay? So we have all our place values lined up, and now we need to subtract going from right to left. Now, really quickly though, a uh, misconception a lot of us might have is we might see these addition signs right here and think we're supposed to add nine plus six. Right now, the addition signs or the plus signs are here to separate our place values for each number. So when you write it in expanded form, you have to put a plus, right? Because if I wanted to put 700 plus 60 plus 9 back together to make 769, I would have to add those numbers. So don't get confused by these addition signs right here because we are supposed to be subtracting. Just think about them as a way to separate your place values to make sure that your place values are lined up. So here we have nine minus six, which would be three. Here we have 60 minus 20, which would be 40. Okay, you could do zero minus zero, and then six minus two right here would give you the four in the tens place. And then same thing here, 700 minus 400 is going to give me 300. And so the difference between 769 minus 426 is 300 plus 40 plus three. So I need a three in my hundreds place, a four in my tens place, and a three in my ones place, and the answer is 343. All right, let's take a look at this problem right here. This is what we call a you try problem here at Instructed Beats. We want you to pause it, try it yourself, and then push play to see how you did. So go ahead and pause it right now, use our strategy that we're working on, push play to check your understanding. Hopefully you just paused it. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to uh, blow up or chop up each of these numbers. And so we're going to have 900 plus 70 plus 2 minus, now I don't have anything in the hundreds place, so this 2, right, is really a 20. You need two base 10 blocks to do it. So I want to make sure that my 2 is underneath my tens place. So it'd be 20 plus 1, which means you don't have anything here in the hundreds place. So if you want to, just to make sure you don't make a silly mistake, you could do a plus 0 here. And if you wanted to, you could even do zero, zero, zero. And that might be something I do as I start out. Eventually, I wouldn't need to do this because when you write expanded form, you don't have to put a zero for each of your bigger place values you don't have. But let's just leave it like that, just as a kind of a place value holder. So two minus one is one, okay? 70 minus 20 is 50. And then 900 minus zero would obviously just be 900. And so when I put this back together, I have a nine in the hundreds place, a five in the tens place, and a one in the ones place. So the difference between 972 and 21 is 951. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. Hopefully we're able to help you with this new subtraction strategy. Check out our next couple videos where we're going to get into standard algorithm and then get into doing this with regrouping, which is why we kind of started with um, this lesson. Now we're going to get into regrouping. So stick with us. Check that out. As always, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you to our sponsor, Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing. Instructor Beats, out.